Hello, this is a speed overview of the 2-axis brushless gimbal from Hobbywell. By popular demand, um, uh, lots of questions about this unbranded gimbal, so we hear good things about it, so we're showing you. Right here, you could see the two brushless motors and the gimbal controller sensor. Here, I'm just demonstrating that the two uh, pre drilled holes on the Wakiva X350 fix perfectly fine on this base plate. Um, next, I'm just showing you how to pinch and uh, slip in the rubber balls. Once you've done quite a few of a few of them, you will just kind of get a hang of it. Once you have the um, rubber balls attached to the base plates, you then secure it with the two screws that were provided. Um, you would notice I had actually broken the legs and had to secure it with a zip tie, but it works just fine. All you have to do is use a zip lock tie and you should be able to put those legs back. Just a quick tip. Here I've put on the screws and I've put on some blue lock ties. Uh, we do recommend that so you don't lose your gimbal in the air. Um, here I'm just demonstrating that you make sure you position your gimbal in the right direction. Um, next uh, important tip, um, the pre-wires have been wrongly color coded for this gimbal. Um, you can see that positive is black and yellow is negative. But uh, it is uh, reversed correctly on the balancing port so if you take a look at the battery that I'm gonna show you in a second they uh, they match uh, red to black and uh, black to yellow I guess um, so they work just fine um, not an issue here yeah, I'm just gonna show you that uh, before you start the gimbal make sure you have some kind of weight on it if you have a GoPro this is where you need to put your GoPro first before you even test it um, this gimbal is made specially for a GoPro so you need to have some weight uh, it's pretty tuned uh, calibrated and uh, it does auto calibrate each time you start it so um, looks good with a weight so I'm going to show the tilt and the roll. Okay, let's do it a bit faster. Uh, okay, it works just fine. Perfect. Okay, next I'm gonna take off the battery weight and demonstrate what happens when there's no camera on the gimbal itself. So I pop up the battery and you're gonna see it uh, just not doing what it's supposed to do. So we put back the battery as a weight demonstration and it works just fine again. So make sure you have your GoPro attached before you use a gimbal. Well, those are the two tips and uh, go on to Hobbywell. They have those uh, at a pretty good price. Have a good day. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network.